Hello paper crafters, today I'm gonna be making a card that is uh, simple and sophisticated at the same time. It is also rather quick to make, I didn't count the die cutting, but once all the elements were die cut, it took me 20 minutes to assemble in real time. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how I made it. This note card is by Birch Press Design, the color is called Latte and it measures 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches. This die is called Honeycomb Collage and it fits right onto the card front. The die is by Memory Box. I believe that any dies that cut out a negative space uh, work great with those note cards, because they only have colored coating on the outside and the inside is white, which creates a nice contrast here. These two dies are also by memory box, they are called bamboo stitched circle frame and bamboo poles. I'm going to stick one of the bamboo poles below the frame so that I have the continuous bamboo pattern, although the die cuts are different color. Then I'm clipping the other die cut apart and I'm sticking the stems above the frame. I happen to have one extra leaf left, so I'm going to stick it above the frame as well. If you're interested in the supplies that I'm using, they are all listed on my blog as well as in the description. Then I'm positioning the bamboo above the card and I'm tracing the circle frame on the inside with a pencil. Then with a pair of scissors I'm going to cut out a circle following the traced line. Next I'm going to apply some uh, liquid adhesive around the circle frame as well as onto the bamboo poles and I'm going to stick everything down onto the card front. I'm using a large acrylic block to hold down the die cuts. Now I have to trim down the bamboos to the size of my card, probably I should have done it before I stuck everything down. Now I will set the card aside and I'm going to create a couple of frames for it. I've used the largest die from wrapped stitched frames die set to create two frames out of uh, cream cardstock. I've also used the third largest rectangle from Rectangle Basics die set to cut out a vellum panel. I have applied some double-sided tape at the wrong side of one of the frames to stick down a vellum panel to it. A panel is a bit smaller than a frame, so I can attach uh, the frame at the back of the card without reapplying adhesive. To attach the other frame I'm planning to use some mounting tape. The tape that I have is wider than my frame, so I'm uh, sticking some strips onto a non-stick sheet. That's going to make it much easier to cut into narrower strips. When the foam tape has a paper liner at both sides, it's much easier to cut and manipulate. So I'm applying some foam tape at the wrong side of the frame, then I'm going to peel off the lining and attach it to the front of the card. You can probably see that the inner frame is peeking through the vellum at some places, but this um, frame is going to cover everything up. Now all there is left to do is to attach a sentiment and I'm going to use this die by Birch Press Design. It's called Calligraphy Pop Congrats. This mini die set consists of two elements, uh, the outline and the background. The background is actually very convenient for this particular project because otherwise uh, the sentiment would have blended with the background as well as with the bamboo leaves. This is what the finished project looks like. As it always happens with the vellum attached, this card can have uh, a different interesting look when backlit. 
the vellum background is also going to hide the written message inside the card. Thanks for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. I'll be back soon with another tutorial and I wish you all a wonderful day.